you know, his intensity and people just enjoy watching him run around, dodge blokes and then kick goals. But uh, it was good to see Ben Nathan come on for Tucky and grab himself a couple of goals. And uh, Matty White's been playing a couple of good defensive roles and also getting himself on the scoreboard. Well, it was the Lions that came out and made a statement early. They uh, they trusted their defence to go one-on-one. -on -one. Big source merit down there. Matty Maguire was back. And the, the Tigers kept bombing the ball in, and they kept turning it over inside their forward 50. Brisbane uh, midfielders would just go out to the wing, uh, alleviate themselves right out to the wing, and overlap football. And they were kicking easy goals in the first quarter, Brett. Uh, but in the second quarter, you guys started to put a lot more pressure on. The ball started staying in your end of the ground, and uh, it was really on your terms in that second term. Yeah, the second term, I think we... Uh worked out that we needed to press up a lot harder but um, it was disappointing probably in the third term that we didn't uh, do the same. Have a look at that push up. Look at this work here <laughs> ready to do Call it for us Jim. Let's Come on Jim. Push up. And that's not even an attempt. He's taking oh. him on. <laughs> push up. Oh, push up. Get around him. Get around him. And I'm not seeing you get around him enough either. I think he's been the man who's driven this whole uh, rebirth of your club. It's a long way from the back line, Jim. <laughs> the boys were talking about uh, you getting around, uh, or what, what you would have been saying in the box uh, no, just, had you been calling the game. It's been absolutely sensational. And I keep saying it, a great story too, the journey he's made to be as good a player as he is. And the crowd is to be congratulated. Every other club really... Maybe Collingwood, Essendon on the side, the Blues. When, when an interstate club comes to town, you're worried about what numbers you're going to put up. 37,000 is a, a stunning result from the Richmond fans. Just shows you, I reckon, Brett, if you can just get into that top six and top four, the juggernaut will start rolling again. Yeah, exactly right. And, uh, I think, uh, you know, with Brendan Gale's um, outlook, he thinks that we, we can get to 75,000 members. Yeah. Maybe that's... Um, you know, it's, a, it's a high target at the moment, but um, you can yeah, see possible. they all come out of the closet once we start winning. winning. Your forward pressure was sensational last night. Has that been a real focus for you? Yeah, uh, Damien, um, you know, instead of goal for us, he had 24 and a half turnovers, and I think we achieved that, mm. which is you know, good for us. And, but also, I think contested footy is probably the biggest one. Um, it's the first time we've won it uh, last night and you know, resulted in a win. Well, you led by 23 points at half time. After half time, I expected the Tigers to come out and really put a stamp on the game, but it was the Lions that came out after half time. Lukey Powell went forward and kicked three in this small little patch. Got the Lions in front, Simon Black was outstanding in the middle and the overlap football, the uncontested football they played, was really good and uh, they've lost four games but they've been all from under four goals. Banfield, Redden, Black and Powell are all getting on the end of it and they're causing some real problems in this third quarter until you put the pressure up again. Robbie Nahas kicks his goal to stop the rock and you kick two just before three quarter time which really steadied you again. Yeah, Simon Black really set the tone from uh, in the midfield there. He was uh, outstanding in that third quarter. I was lucky enough to stand by him and not uh, do too much damage to him uh, in that third quarter. But, um, yeah, well, Lukey Power got on the end. I think it was their senior players who um, got him back into the game. But, um, yeah, to our credit, the boys... Um, you know, kept fighting and uh, kept us, you know, a couple points in front. That's a good kid, Rockwood. Yeah, it certainly is. They've got some really good youngsters, the Brisbane Lions, and they run and carry the ball well. <laughs> now uh, we see Source running out over the boundary line there, Brett. Two questions. There was two really impressive parts of your game last night. There was an even spread of uh, midfielders getting their hands on the ball. You had 10 players who had over 20 possessions, and also you outpossessed the Lions by 80 possessions, but you also beat them in the tackle. So not only were you winning of the contest, you're also putting enormous pressure on the Lions when they got the ball, and that's not something that's been in Richmond's game plan. That's something that Damien Hardwick's brought in, and you guys are implementing that. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Damien's, uh, uh, you know, offensively he thinks we can play, but uh, defensively as well we've struggled. Um, in the past, so we've uh, had a real emphasis on laying those tackles and uh, getting back you know, third in support, uh, especially in the defensive end, but um, you know, a, a good effort. There's a, there's a big thing about football at the moment, how high your half forwards get up, how hard you work, how hard your midfielders work to get back into the, the contest. Now, we see here where we roll the tape, there's the Brisbane Lions are going forward here, here's the kick in, you look at the top of the screen there, you've got two midfielders getting back to help out your defensive players. And then you've got Robbie Nahas there at the front, who's a half-forward player. He's come all the way down from the half-forward line to put pressure on. He knocks it away. He follows up his work, gets in there, makes another tackle here, and the ball comes free. Alex Rance comes in, picks it up, and here go the Tigers. They've had their three players, midfielders and a forward, put pressure on in the back end, and now they've got the run and carry game going. Here goes Rance. They've got so much space because they had all their players come up to the, uh, the back line. Dusty Martin takes it with Mark goes long, they've got a one-on-one -on -one because they've moved the ball so quickly. There's big uh, Tyrone Vicky runs into an open goal, and that's how sides are trying to play at the moment. They're trying to get all their numbers up into someone else's 
attacking in and run it through to the other end. Am I right, Brett? <laughs> that was almost like the doc's report, that wasn't it? Um, <laughs> no, uh, you, you're right, Nate. We want you know get the our half forwards pushing up, not too deep, so they're just getting cheap, easy touches. But we definitely want to flood the uh, the back end and then and then work it out through uh, hard work rate. Because there was a time last year when. It was all about education. It was almost like a man-on-man -man style of football. Your young guys had to learn what the tempo was like at league footy. So now, obviously, the coach thinks you're ready to actually play the style of footy which wins games in AFL. Yeah, I think it was just us learning Damien's um, game style that he wanted us to play. And um, I think you know that patch last year where we won four, uh, five or six in a row, um, you know, sort of set us up a bit. But now we we really understand it and we can uh, implement it more so through our games. Any danger of you bringing that sort of analysis to the table, Bill? Uh, no chance. I just learnt that. Well done, Brownie. That was very good. Right. What happens, but if you go to kick the half forward and your half forwards are, you got to be fit, don't you? You got to work hard, be very, very fit. Yeah, exactly. They've got to be um, you'll be able to work the same as a midfielder does. As we go to the votes, and it was all Richmond apart from Simon Black. I thought he was outstanding last night. Their best player, Foley, had 40 touches the football. Nahas 26 and three. Dustin Martin clearly the best player on the ground. 35 touches, 10 inside 50s. Muttonhead, <coughs> Richmond have got a really winnable game next week at, the, at home against Fremantle. Then the Western Bulldogs, so that's a pretty good four weeks to find out where the Tigers are exactly at. Brisbane have got the Gold Coast Suns, now that's a huge game for them, they should get on the scoreboard. Essendon, North Melbourne, Adelaide Crows, so Brisbane have got some winnable games coming up. Bill? Oh, some fantastic prices, the best in the business, have a look at this, uh, Brady Boy, the Aquila shoes, oh, magnificent, they'll be at the Logies tonight. St. Goliath clothing pack, $250 gift voucher there, all the goods, thank you very much. Man, what a fuss, get out and see Johnny Mack or the lovely Kate. Hundred dollar. I think you got the day spa, which would be very nice there. Uh, Delete uh, the King Chrome tools, <laughs> the toolkit there. Whey protein powder, muscle recovery and development. Ready to golf. Hundred thirty dollar voucher. And go to their website, ready to golf .com, Your chance to win a round of golf with Chris Dawes. Collingwood, you love that. Can he play? I don't know. He's well, he looks alright. He's off too. Right, he's off too, too yeah. is he? He can play. The Hotel Brighton could work. Well stopped up there, Dusty. Hotel Brighton there, $100 bounce for food, drinks. And that's not my week. The Home, Timber and Hardware, $200 <laughs> gift card. Thanks to Home, Timber and Hardware, the proper hardware store. They're magnificent. Does delete. anyone Trippy. else call you Delete? <laughs> nah, no, that one. <laughs> <laughs> ask a really quick question before he goes. Very quick. There's been uh, some criticism about your footy. You played a great game against Brendan Goddard, then there was criticism, then you came back the next week and played uh, probably the best on ground. Does it bother you, that sort of thing, or did you just get on with the game week to week? Uh, I think I just get on with the game week to week. I, uh, as long as I've got the respect of my teammates and the coaches within the club, I'm happy. Um, you know, let everyone else speak what they want um, outside of the footy club. Can, do, do you reckon you've got the most out of your career to date? Oh, I think I've still got plenty of improvement left there. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. Um, if, you, if you had to retire tomorrow for whatever a silly reason, would you say oh, I've done the most in my career my abilities allowed me to? Um, I'd be happy with it, right? Yeah. Okay. Brett, thank you very much for coming in, and it's great to see the Tigers flying. Well done. No worries, thanks, Jim. Brett Deledio from the Richmond Footy Club. Thanks to Home Timber and Hardware. You're Please. watching the Sunday <laughs> Footy Show. Yeah, good on your delete. <laughs>